Can you guys tell me the 10 best bands named after things from the Bible? I got it. Oh, yes. Show me Judas Priest. That is three. <laughs> yes. Uh, what about Paul Simon? Not there. You did lead me to one, though. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Not there. No. Dave Matthews Band. Not there. How about the Jesus and Mary chain? Not there. How is that not there? What about John Prine? Not there. Am I missing it? Yeah, you're missed? missing it. Yeah, they're not named. Well, I guess, oh, wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're kind of like smarter than the list. Yeah. Because everybody's kind of named after things from the Bible. Paul, <laughs> Matthews Band, John. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? Do you want me God smacked? Not there. There's something like that, though. It's like God Hole or something. <laughs> it, are we close? Are we in the range of one? Hole of God. Oh, yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lamb of God. Yes, that <laughs> yeah. is seven. Yeah, hole in God, Lamb of God. I yeah. got there. How about Noah and the Whale? Not there. You got to be thinking more of the bands Phil Collins played drums for. Genesis. That is four. Great book, too. Good mm -hmm. read. Yeah, I love that one. How about the Carpenters? Not there. Okay. Really like that, Gus. Thank you. Jesus was a cross maker. Um, oh. Black Sabbath. That is number one. Sabbath, yeah. What about Blue Shabbat? <laughs> How about Lord? Not there. Not a band, I guess. Yeah. It's, it's a person. Grant, what about my youth pastor had tiny hands? Not there. Ooh. That's a band? Oh. Ooh. oh. Hmm. They're little. How about Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now by the Smiths? Not there. Oh. <clears throat> they made an album called Hair of the Dog. That's why I know them. Show me Nazareth. That is six. Okay. My mom has the record in her shop. Oh, how about the band Testament? That is five. Mm. Never heard of them. Baptisms, uh, circumcisions, praying, singing. I'm just thinking church stuff. I don't go to church. Yeah, I don't anymore, but I went a lot as a kid. Yeah, I'm just like, holy water, the devil. You got the congregation. You got stained glass windows. You got that silly bucket with the incense in it. <laughs> it's not silly. Uh, you have that smoky chain bucket. What about the ministry? That is ten. Oh, just that's a that's a band, huh? Just throwing out words now. You should try that. Gonna go a different route, actually. Sure. Uh, how about St. John? Not there. That's good. <clears throat> good guess, though. Ooh, I feel like this is a band name. The Damned. <laughs> Not there. It is a band. <laughs> really? Yeah, that is a band, but maybe a little bit vague. You know, somehow, Ryan Adams and the Cardinals still works as a guest on this one, so I'm gonna go with that. Not there. Okay. Oh, uh, what about Pegasus Princess? Not there. I told you, I don't know what's in the Bible. It feels like that kind of shit would be in there. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> really? Yeah, they skip over a lot of that stuff. How about Armageddon? Not there. Enoch. Not there. <laughs> Grant, what about the band Holy Ghost? Not there. I think it's a biblical term. It's Avenged Sevenfold here. That is number two. Oh. Yeah. It's got something to do with punishment and blood and guts and <laughs> jesus on the cross and... right <laughs> all right thinking of other books from the bible how about exodus that is eight yeah i love that book too oh speaking of other books in the bible uh-huh show me the sorcerer's stone <laughs> no no not there i just thought with her views and stuff it would be in the bible maybe no yeah it's not uh, that is an interesting thing though if you go into any Catholic family's house. The Bible and the Harry Potter series are on the same shelf. They're both based off World War II, or they're allegorical for it, at least. Based off of? I mean, yeah, they're, the they're both an allegory for World War II. World War II happened so much further after Harry Potter. Prove it. The Bible, though, that started, I believe, in 2001. Yeah. How about the Trans-Siberian Orchestra? Not there. Mm. You know what? I'll say it again. What about Dave Matthews Band? <laughs> Not there still. You sure? Still not going to be Well, I know. There. It's a live ranking, though. Yeah, I guess. Uh, how about Dan Deacon? Not there. Mm. Jesus Christ Superstar. Not there. Oh, my God. Uh, Creed. Not there. That's crazy. I am uh, throwing in the towel. I'm going to guess one more, as Please. I often do. Now, this one is a stretch. There's a character in the Bible named Job. So I'm going to guess Joe Budden. <laughs> Not there. Okay. 
All right, yeah, we can throw in the towel. What is it, Grant? What is it? Last band here is called Stripper. <laughs> huh? Christian heavy metal band Stripper. Oh, it's because Jesus' mom. I heard she was for the streets. <laughs> no. no. Uh, there's a story of Jesus meeting with a, a sex worker and, uh, and like, getting along with her and like forgiving her and everybody was like whoa man what are you doing and then he's like you must forgive everybody something something like that that's basically all i can think of though i'm mm. not exactly sure or uh maybe they they stripped him down and made him carry the cross or whatever true oh you know what it's an acronym for salvation through redemption yielding peace encouragement and righteousness whatever no one wanted to learn that today these are the top <laughs> 10 bands named after things in the bible great, actually we are hive mind don't listen to christian music good night <laughs>